Huawei was a global tech titan, then BAM! US sanctions hit hard. Access to crucial US technology? Gone. Think Google services, vital chip designs? Key manufacturing partners simply vanished. Huawei found itself in a serious bind. They had to rethink everything, and fast. Smartphone sales outside China plummeted. Their 5G infrastructure business faced immense pressure. It looked like a dire situation, honestly. This was a company that, just moments before, was challenging the biggest names in tech. The sanctions aimed to cripple their global competitiveness. Many wondered if Huawei could even survive. It was a tech drama unfolding live. This wasn't just about Huawei though, it sent shockwaves through the entire tech industry. Suddenly supply chains felt very fragile. Companies everywhere started looking over their shoulders. Could they be the next target? Huawei faced a clear choice, wither away or fight back, they chose the latter. Huawei's response wasn't just about quick fixes. This was a fundamental strategic pivot, a total reset. They declared a clear, bold mission, achieve complete technological independence. This meant developing their own core technologies, from the silicon in their chips to the operating systems running their devices. The investment in research and development? Staggering. Thousands of engineers were tasked with this. They weren't just patching holes in a sinking ship. They were building entirely new foundations. This involved exploring alternative chip architectures. It meant fostering domestic supply chains. Huawei knew this wouldn't happen overnight. Software was equally, if not more, crucial. The development of Harmony OS became paramount. The vision? A unified OS for everything. Phones, wearables, PCs, even cars. Huawei was utterly determined to break free from its reliance on foreign tech. This wasn't merely a corporate strategy, it aligned perfectly with broader national goals. A massive part of this independence mission? Mastering the art of chip design. In-house. And that brings us to the Kunpeng 920. Launched back in 2019, this chip was big. It was a significant statement of intent. The Kunpeng 920 was an ARM-based server CPU. This showed Huawei was deadly serious serious about tackling the enterprise market, a market long dominated by US giants. The Kunpeng 920 was engineered for high performance in data centers and servers. It boasted up to 64 cores in some configurations. This was Huawei planting its flag firmly in the high performance computing space. They weren't just aiming to replace lost tech, they were aiming to build truly competitive alternatives. This chip was a cornerstone. ARM, traditionally known for mobile efficiency, was steadily making inroads into the server market. It offered potential advantages. Better power consumption for certain tasks. Improved scalability for specific workloads. The Kunpeng 920 wasn't just a standalone chip, it was the heart of a broader ecosystem. While the Kunpeng 920 made its mark in the demanding server domain, Huawei's ambition didn't stop there. The experience gained was invaluable. Developing such a complex chip taught them loads. It laid crucial groundwork for future innovations. Fast forward to today, 2025. We're seeing the evolution of this strategy with new chips like the Kirin X90. This new system on chip, SOC, is a big deal. It builds upon the Kunpeng architecture's legacy. But it's specifically designed for PCs and AI. This signals a clear, bold intent to bring Huawei's self-developed silicon to the consumer and enterprise PC market. The Kirin X90 is expected to be something special. It will likely feature Huawei's custom Taishan V120 cores. These are ARM-based cores, continuing their strategy of using architectures that aren't directly hobbled by US restrictions. The focus is on creating a powerful chip, an efficient chip that can handle modern tasks including demanding AI workloads. Fabrication is the other critical piece here. The Kirin X90 is anticipated to be manufactured by SMIC, Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation. They're expected to use their 7 nanometer process. This is a massive achievement in itself, showcasing China's growing prowess in advanced semiconductor manufacturing capabilities. Section 5. Harmony OS. More than just a mobile operating system. Right, let's talk about Harmony OS. Initially, many folks saw it simply as Huawei's answer to Android, but its ambition was always much grander. Harmony OS was designed from the ground up to be a distributed operating system. It can run everywhere, on a massive range of devices, seamlessly. Think way beyond just your phone. 
The vision for Harmony OS is truly expansive. A single, unified OS that powers everything. Your smartphone, tablet, smartwatch, big screen TV, car's infotainment system, and personal computer. This creates a deeply integrated smart ecosystem. Devices can share resources and information effortlessly. It's about a cohesive, fluid user experience. Now Harmony OS is making its grand entrance into the world of personal computers. Huawei is developing a PC-specific version. It's being properly tailored for the desktop. Keyboard and mouse input, window management, and powerful applications PC users need. Harmony OS on PCs, powered by their own Kirin chips. This tight coupling of hardware and software allows for levels of optimization that are incredibly difficult to achieve otherwise. It could lead to better performance, improved power efficiency for laptops, and unique features leveraging the whole ecosystem. Section 6. The All Huawei PC, a new dawn for computing. So what does an All Huawei PC actually look like? Machines running Harmony OS, powered by Kirin X90 chips, positioned as AI PCs with integrated AI capabilities, features like DeepSeek AI for Edge applications. Similar to Microsoft's Copilot, AI is the next big battleground, targeting enterprise users with the Ching Yun series. Aimed at enterprise users in China, a smart strategy for initial foothold. Businesses might adopt new platforms for clear advantages, advantages in security, control, or integration. Gain foothold, then expand to wider markets. Biggest hurdle? Software compatibility. Non-Windows PCs have struggled with this. Huawei aims to tackle this with Harmony OS. Controlling hardware and OS ensures smooth experience. Harmony OS PCs represent more than just new products. They signify a potential shift in the computing landscape. Delivering a compelling experience could carve out a niche, especially within China, where domestic tech is strong. Section 7. The Apple Blueprint. Huawei's Vertical Integration Play. Huawei's strategy, custom chips, their own OS, and a tightly integrated ecosystem, mirrors Apple. Apple has been wildly successful with this model. Their M-series chips have redefined personal computing. Performance and efficiency have soared. Huawei is taking a page from this book. Replicating Apple's success is no easy task, but deep hardware software integration offers huge potential. Huawei aims to close the gap and offer a compelling alternative. Section 8. China's Broader Tech Ambitions, a National Effort. Huawei's push for self-sufficiency, it's part of a larger national strategy. China aims to bolster its domestic tech industry. The government is funding efforts to reduce reliance on foreign tech. This is a coordinated nationwide push. Major Chinese tech companies are making ambitious moves. Xiaomi announced its own X-Ring 01 chipset. This shows a widespread trend in China's tech landscape. Companies are investing heavily in R&D, it's a race for tech independence. Geopolitical tensions are a major catalyst. China aims to be a global leader in innovation. Technological strength is crucial for China's future. Domestic foundries like SMIC are critical. Manufacturing advanced chips at scale is a challenge, Chinese foundries are making progress. Domestic manufacturing is essential for self-sufficiency. This is a high-stakes game. Section 9. Flipping the game market impact and the road ahead. So, what does all this actually mean for the wider tech world, for you and me? Huawei's new AI PCs, a potent combination powered by Harmony OS and their own Kirin chips, these could genuinely shake things up. A lot. They have the clear potential to significantly impact the rapidly evolving AI PC market, especially at first, within China. Established players will be watching very closely. This isn't just a small ripple, it's a wave. This renewed, vigorous activity from Huawei, from their server and PC divisions is telling. It's a clear signal they've weathered the storm, the storm of sanctions and restrictions, and are emerging with a focused, potent strategy. By concentrating on in-house components, they're building a much more resilient supply chain. This also strategically opens up new market opportunities, particularly within their vast domestic market. They are definitely playing to their strengths. The road ahead won't be a walk in the park. Let's be realistic about the challenges. Building a global PC ecosystem to rival Windows, that is a truly monumental, colossal task. Software compatibility will be a constant battle. Developer adoption needs to be nurtured, and international market acceptance must be won. These are all significant, tough hurdles. However, Huawei has shown incredible resilience and a remarkable capacity for rapid innovation. Ultimately, Huawei's journey is fascinating towards technological independence, a bold quest spearheaded by innovations like Kunpeng and the new Harmony OS PCs we're seeing now. 
This is more than just a corporate turnaround, it signals a much broader, fundamental shift in the global technology landscape as a whole.